Hi, this is Roshan Rao, Advisory Solution Architect with ServiceNow. Today I'm going to show you how service desk agents and customer service representatives using ServiceNow can provide service to employees and customers using chat interactions. This capability uses two ServiceNow platform features, Agent Workspace and Agent Chat. ServiceNow allows agents to deliver service over multiple channels. One of those service channels is chat. Agent Chat enables customers and employees to ask questions and receive information by chatting with a live agent. Through Agent Chat, agents communicate with customers, create incident or case records, or transfer chats to another agent or queue. Agent Chat uses a persistent widget for chat conversations on any portal page or the portal that you're using. You can establish assignment rules to enable chat conversations to reach the best available agent who has the capacity and skills to handle the job. The agent can transfer the chat to another agent if necessary. Agents can use response templates to enable reusable, consistent messages. Workspaces include all the tools that agents need to find, research, and resolve issues. Agent Workspace and Agent Chat depend on the advanced work assignment feature to automatically assign work items to agents based on their availability, capacity, and optionally skills. This demo uses the ITSM Agent Workspace included with ServiceNow's ITSM standard subscription. Agent Workspace consists of different page types. The home page shows key metrics and assigned work. List pages have modules that show different, uh, different types of work items such as incident, problem, change, request. My list allows agents to store their own filtered lists to manage their work better. The inbox page is where an agent would accept work that is coming in through different service delivery channels. The status selector allows an agent to set their availability for each service delivery channel. This demo instance only has one delivery channel, which is chat, and hence there's only one selector. An agent can also set their preferences on how they, can, they would like to be alerted on incoming interaction requests. Now let's take a look at the experience of Able Tutor, who's trying to go through the self-service portal to find help. His laptop isn't working today and he's trying to search for knowledge-based articles that can potentially resolve his issue. Depending upon the type of issue being experienced, there may be items available in the, not, in the service catalog that may be able to help. However, today, Abel really needs an agent to help him. Abel can chat with a live agent by clicking on the chat bubble on the bottom right of the page. Based on configured chat queues and work assignment rules, and the chat request is routed to an agent. When a chat request is initiated, an interaction record is created. The interaction record stores a history of, the, of a chat interaction. The interaction record has fields which can be used to populate the pop-up that is shown in the agent inbox. Abel's chat request was routed to Beth. Beth accepts the chat. The interaction view in Agent Workspace consists of the chat window, which has the public and the private chat. The public chat is used to interact with the actual user and the private chat is used for agent to agent conversations. The interaction view also has buttons available to open work items related to the interactions, such as incident, problem and change. In addition, there are quick actions available in the chat window that allow for efficient handling of interactions to include pre-built response templates that can be custom configured, uh, agent transfers, transfers back to queue, and several other items. The agent Beth is able to use one of the response templates to initiate the conversation. Since user information and past interactions are available in the agent workspace, Beth can quickly get to asking the right questions to offer help to Able relatively quickly. Opening Able's user record, Beth is quickly able to see the laptop that is assigned to Able. Once she can confirm the asset tag number, she can figure out how to handle the case correctly.
a new incident record can be created right from the interaction record. Note that the Agent Assist feature shows relevant knowledge articles and service catalog items to help the agent resolve the incident quickly. Once Beth has opened the incident record and pasted the incident number in the chat, Agent Chat displays summary information in the chat, in chat window as well. Once the agent has verified that all pending issues have been taken care of, the chat can be ended. Once the chat is ended, the user is presented with the option to download the chat transcript, as well as presented a one-click survey that can be used for reporting and for improving the quality of service delivery. This completes our demonstration of the core agent chat capabilities in the ServiceNow platform. I would like to highlight that our pro and enterprise customers have access to ServiceNow's AI and ML capabilities, which provide virtual agent experience. A virtual agent can support and scale your IT organization by enabling a virtual agent to perform the less complicated, more common IT requests and incidents. ITSM Virtual Agent includes predefined conversations designed to help both your IT fulfill fulfillment professional and users complete common tasks such as resolve an incident, reset a password, and create an incident. With AI and ML, the Agent Assist feature becomes smarter by using predictive intelligence to provide faster resolution to issues. These capabilities are demonstrated in separate ServiceNow videos that showcase ITSM professional package. As you have seen, ServiceNow's core platform features provide foundational capabilities to help provide first-class service delivery across IT, customer service, and other workflows.